Hey everyone, I'm here today with my products I regret buying video. I have a few products here that I have purchased that I'm just like a little bit regretful that I spent the money on them. Um, so I thought I'd share them with you. I love these type of videos. I love to see what products didn't work for other people so that if it's somebody that I usually love the products they recommend or we have similar skin types or tones, um, I kind of know what products to steer clear of. I also like to know like if people dislike the same products I do or maybe they have a product that is a favorite or that they dislike and it's a favorite of mine. So I always find that to be so interesting and fun. So I have a few products here. It's not gonna be a super long video, um, but I do want to share with you guys a few things. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoyed this video and you decided to say a while by hitting that subscribe button. You guys know how hard that is to say. I, I sometimes takes me like four times saying it because it's like a tongue twister. There's so many s sounds in that. Give this video a thumbs up before you leave or if you like this video while you're watching it and hit that notification bell that way you're notified of any new videos that go up because <laughs> clearly I've had difficulty staying to a schedule. So if you hit that notification bell, then you know when the videos go up and it's like a little surprise because you don't really know when is Cassie gonna upload? And then it's like, boom, she uploaded a video. And then you're like, woohoo, surprise. That's why you should hit the notification bell. First one might surprise you guys because I loved these when I first got them. And then they started doing very strange things on me. So these are the Dosa Colors lip liners, um, nitty gritty and casual. Now I was obsessed with these when I first got them. I talked about them all the time. The colors are beautiful. And when I swatch them on my hands, you're like, Cassie, what could you not like about that? They are creamy. The colors are beautiful. I have like four of these because I loved them so much. Beautiful, right? Here's the problem. These turn gray on me. They turn straight up gray. Now the swatch on my hand won't turn gray, but I will line my lips with them and then I'll do whatever nude lipstick. It doesn't matter what lipstick, liquid lipstick, lip gloss, what color, what shade, what brand, no matter what product I put over these within, I don't know, an hour, maybe two hours, my whole lip line will be gray. Both of these colors do this to me and I don't understand why, but it turns my actual lips gray. And it was weird because I thought like my lips start like after a couple hours of wear, I'd be like, man, my lips just kind of look weird. So I'd apply more and I'm like, oh, well, my friend Haley, she had bought one of these on my recommendation and she asked me, she's like, do you feel like your lips look gray throughout the day? Like your lip line starts to get really gray. And I was like, you know what, that is what happened. So I kept using them and I started to notice more and more how it changes from whatever color it is here to gray. My whole outer lip line will be gray. It's the most bizarre thing. I've never had a lip liner do that before, but these ones turn gray. It doesn't matter what I'm using under that or over them, they turn gray. It's very strange. Okay, the next one is this here. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I kind of got on a ink credible uh, buying splurge, but I did. I think they had just started being sold at Sephora back when um, Liv was a baby. Cause this, I remember buying these when she was like very little baby. Stuff was really inexpensive. And so I bought a ton of things cause they were like $10. Well, their products are freaking tiny, which is why it's so cheap. But I got these um, strobe lip paints. This one is in major player. Why I bought this, I have no idea. The color is cool, but it's <laughs> like silvery gray. And it is, I don't love the smell of it. It's um, not a sweet or like scented smell. It's kind of paint, it smells like paint. Anyways, you can feel this glitter on your lips and it just, it's super tacky and sticky so your lips when you go like that, they like stick together. And I just, I don't like it. I don't like the smell. I don't like the way it feels on my lips. The color, I just, I don't like it. I don't know why I bought it. Um, I also don't love glittery lip glosses. I'm like very particular on what glittery lip glosses I will actually wear. I can't, I need to not feel the grittiness of the glitter. This just was like a weird purchase for me. I don't know that necessarily this product is like, a horrible product. 
I just don't understand why I bought it. Just like not something that I would gravitate towards. It's in the color Girl King and it is their Storm Strobe Lip, oh my gosh, Storm Strobe Lip Paint. And I just, it doesn't do anything for me. I regret buying it. I don't like the color. I don't like the way the glitter fills. I don't like the smell and I don't like the texture of it. Um, the next product is also by Ink and it's their Cosmic Blur Jelly, Iridescent Jelly. It's supposed to be like a highlighter. No. Um, again, part of it is my fault in getting this color. Like, do you see the shift? It's like that holographic, really strong. I don't know if the lighting will pick it up. It's got a very, very prominent purpley blue. Like I can see here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. We'll show, but it has a very, very intense blue, um, very purpley blue sheen to it. Man, I wish you guys could see it because it is super strong. Um, and it's like a royal purple blue shift, which that's just not gonna look good on my cheeks. Um, I also don't love the texture of it. Um, yes, it is a jelly. It's very sticky. Uh, it feels almost oily on the skin. So it's just nothing I would ever use or wear. So I regret buying it. If that's like the kind of product you're looking for, I'm sure it's fine. But me personally, I don't like the color, don't like the texture. <laughs> and it was like a weird purchase for me. I don't know. Maybe it's because I was sleep deprived, but I totally regret purchasing that. Okay, I only have three more, you guys. So um, I've been shopping my stash lately. I've been using products that I love that I already own and I'm just loving it. So let's get to the next one. This Tom Ford brow sculptor. I'm sure that this is a fine brow sculptor. Here's the thing. I do not like this shape where it's like the thicker one. And I'm learning that, you know, that shape used to be like a big trend. And so that's probably why I purchased this, but I'm finding, I don't like that shape for my brows. I don't have enough brow hairs or big enough brows to really use this and have it look great. Um, the formula was okay, but honestly, so many companies make this type of shape if that's what you're looking for at such a less expensive price. And I go through brow products like crazy. If you watch my empties video, almost em every empties video, I have anywhere from like three to six brow pencils. So I go through them so quickly that I can't be spending however much this was all the time on brow pencils. So I regret buying it for one. I don't like the shape Two, way too expensive for a brow pencil because I go through them too much. And this is completely dried out. I can't even use it because it's, I mean, that was pressing pretty hard to try to get that. I tried to use this this morning and I was like, like vigorously going on my hand to try to get color. And then when I tried to put it on my brows, I just couldn't, it wasn't transferring onto my brows. Um, so I just, it's too expensive. I'm sure it's a great product. I'm sure that you know, if you bought that, you would probably like it if you like that shape. I just feel like there's better, less expensive ones at the drugstore, or even just less expensive in general benefit Anastasia. That is just, it's not as good for how much it costs. Okay, the next one. This Pat, I don't own any Pat McGrath eyeshadows, but I do own this one. I mean, I don't own any of her palettes, but I do own this eyeshadow. It's in Celestial. I believe that's the name of the shade. Um. If all of her eyeshadows are like this, like I don't know why I would ever buy a palette. I am so underwhelmed with this eyeshadow. It is so chalky and like, <sighs> I'm trying to think the best way to describe it. It is a really chalky powdery product. And like, this is kind of pretty, like that's, that's a pretty shade. Um, it really has to be buffed in to the eye which I just wouldn't use that motion. Like if I take my finger and I really buff it into my hand, like that looks really pretty, right? But when you apply this with a brush, um, it looks powdery, it looks kind of thick and dusty on the eye. And I've tried this wet and I've tried it dry, I've tried it with a brush and I've tried it with my finger and it just does nothing for me. I have Makeup Geek shadows, I have ColourPop shadows that give me a beautiful, shimmery or metallic or I don't know what this is supposed to be, but that give me this really pretty look that actually like 
translates pretty on the eyes. So this was a big bust for me. I don't know if it's just this particular color or maybe I'm just not into the Pat McGrath shadows, but I know a lot of people really love them. But this was just like a no-go for me. I was so underwhelmed and they're expensive and it really did absolutely nothing for me. I've reached for it about four times. All four times I really disliked the way it looked. Again, it looked dusty. That's the best way to describe it, dusty on the eyes. A weird one for me to mention because it's like, I don't know if I hate it or, or not. <laughs> um, I love the consistency, the coverage. There's a lot of things I love about this product. I don't know if it's the wrong shade because I have two shades um, and both of them do this, but it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Now, so many people love this. I too love this, like clearly. I do like this powder, but for some reason, no matter what bronzer I use, it turns my bronzer gray. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about certain products that turn gray on my skin, um, but I can use no matter what bronzer. I mean, clearly I've been using this for a long time. So I've tried it with many, many different bronzers, probably at least 10 different bronzers. And every time I go to put my bronzer over it, it looks gray and mucky. It doesn't matter the brush or the bronzer color, the tone, it all turns gray. And I have the shade Y245. And my other one is also, I believe, a Y. The other one I have is Y225. And both of them make my bronzer look gray. So maybe I need to do a different shade. If you've had this happen to you, let me know. Because I do love the powder, but I can't really wear bronzer because my bronzer will look gray and mucky uh, if I do. So let me know. Have you tried this? What are your thoughts? Has it ever turned your bronzer to look gray? And if it did, what did you do? Did you what did you do to remedy it? Or if I need to just get the R instead of the Y um, in the shades. So let me know down in the comments below because I do like the powder, but I cannot have gray bronzer all over my face, if you know what I'm saying. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching my fails video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.